that's great to have one more powerful group meditation dear friends all of you who have been past participants and being part of this thank you for coming back we are finishing up our kailash program which is our six weeks moving into our final week from tomorrow so far we heal our body we heal our mind we feel our intellect we are one with our individual consciousness all of these are for ourselves all of these four are for ourselves our individual self next week is all about our universal self this one four fingers on one side this one on the other side which is our universal self everybody that are part of us so we'll understand taking care of this is taking care of ourselves that is service dear friends service is an integral part being of use to people around us has to become an integral part there has to be a, a purpose there is a personal responsibility to take care of ourselves there is a personal responsibility to take care of immediate people around but there is a greater responsibility to be of great use to people all way all around for everybody we are non dual and dual in the duality we are this individual consciousness we take care of ourselves in the non duality we are one with everything so we take care of everything if 0.01% is dual and then if 99.99% is non dual then we extend we look to spend as much time in the non dual nature which means we look to spend as much time in helping others that is a way to experience that greatness of ourselves that is a way to gain that contentment and fulfillment and happiness in serving others in helping others it's for us it is still for us to take care of this body those who have been into service always feel that deep 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 satisfaction if meditation is all about finding ourselves finding that contentment no matter where we are what we are where in which situation we are then dear friend service is an absolutely absolutely beautiful way to be in that fulfilled contented state all the time it's a way to create more and more things because the more we serve the more we become one and the more we become one the more we have everything inside so we can access the more more we are open to so many possibilities from everybody and everything so we we'll understand this as we go into next week always great to be together good to see you there ananthi madam for coming back and joining how is your meditation yeah um good morning everybody my meditation was good um i was into kind of very deep meditation today uh it was just excellent thank you wonderful so thank you all dear friends we'll stay back for sharing if any of you have any experience of meditation we'll stay back to share otherwise we'll meet you back tomorrow at the same time into a final week and i do want to say this we are going to start our next program from january 18th the next 40 days and we're also publishing our calendar for january february march with youth programs and of course this one then we'll also have a three day manifestation this time we're doing virtually only online which is going to be around january 8th 9th 10th i believe all of this will be published shortly but if you like this if you are enjoying it if you feel it's making a difference to your life then most certainly dear friends it calls for an action to at least at least inform and convince 10 other people to come and join these programs we all have worked with hundreds of people 10 people is all it takes to make this make our, our environment better so remember this at least 10 people if you think where you place your attention where you place your energy where you place your attention where you place your energy if kathakeen sir is able to write and write and write and pursue if svb sir is able to pursue and then so many people are joining i'm sure 
we all of us can take time to find and then influence, convince, because in, a, in the best interest of that person that you're thinking about. So please do remember this and then let's do our part in making our future programs a lot more energetic. The larger the group, the more the energy, the more faster the transformation, the more faster because it's an energy circle. And thank you all for joining back. Those of you who have been in the past participants and thank you everybody for being through these 35 days. Truly, truly we have to congratulate each of us to ourselves for staying on this journey. Thank you and have a great day. Yes. How are you now? How was your meditation? Yes, sir, it was good. After a long time, I felt good. Tell us about your meditation experiences. My meditation experience in Pyramid Valley was the best. So uh, it's been five months since I'm meditating and initially it, it was like I couldn't get into it. I was questioning myself whether I will be able to continue. But later uh, I got into the flow and yes, day by day, every day has been different. I'm exploring my new self. I'm identifying who, uh, uh, I'm doing a self-identity of myself. So just looking out, looking back five months back, who I am and who I am today, it is really a different personality that would I, I would say. And my meditation experience is like, first 20 days, I couldn't feel anything, any difference. And then after questioning you about why I am not able to get the experience that others are able to get, like going, going into an empty state or having visualizations. And the question that, and the answer that you gave me is stop comparing yourself, stop analyzing. I started thinking about it. Why is that statement you made to me? And then from then on, it's like, yes, the next day when I sat into meditation, I just sat with a blank mind. And for five seconds, five to 10 seconds, I had that empty feeling. And then on, after one month, I could get into that empty state. The moment the heart elevation completes and I get into this mindfulness, mindfulness meditation, I would get into the empty state. And it will be like towards the end, till the gratitude, when the gratitude song plays, I would be back to the I'll, I'll get connected and it's like complete peace and happiness and contentment is what I got I got volunteered for this Buddha CEO foundation and I got complete contentment I was longing for for quite a long time and now that I'm doing this facilitating job and it's really good connecting with people, more and more people are getting connected every day. Every day I receive a call from a new person whom I have not spoke, whom I have not met. I get in touch with everyone. So it feels good. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Stop comparing yourself with anybody. Yes. And also myself with myself because previous day is not the new day. What I was yesterday is not what I am today. Because at one day I get a good experience, the other day I don't. So if I think of why I didn't get it today, then it is again a problem. It's what I started realizing. So take it as it comes. Go with the flow. As you say, go with the flow. I just, I'm going with the flow. Great. Who do we have? We have a lot. So let's, let's listen from... Venugo Palji. Yes, sir. Is Vicky speaking or Venugo Palji speaking? It's always Vicky. <laughs> Actually, with uh, my friend also. That's he's a new friend. Yeah. Uh, he's first day of meditation. He's my neighbor. So I just uh, so he shown uh, Vicky's video and I shown him. And okay, let me try. That's what he came for tea. Then I hold him for meditation. So, 
So okay. that's what happened. He wanted to share his experience and his name. And... Hey, hello, Chetra. Uh, this is Nasim. So I am uh, just staying in you know, opposite to Venugopal's home. And uh, I am here in St. Louis and uh, working for Vipro. I'm a software engineer, in fact. And uh, yeah, today as Venu Gopal explained that, you know, I was just walked into his home in the evening. And, uh, he was explaining more about uh, what is all about this, you know, meditation. Of course, you know, he has shown Vicky's videos. And then I thought, you know, why can't I try today? And uh, I was with them, okay, during the meditation, so I came back. And... Uh, I don't have much, you know, because since it is very, very first day for me, uh, so I don't have much to explain to you, but gradually, uh, the reason is, you know, I may, I may more involved, okay, as I continue to do this meditation going forward, and I may have, you know, much more to share some experience with you, Chandra. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can, I, can I share my experience too? Yes. I had a very good experience today towards the end mostly when we started relaxing. I went into the empty state for a couple minutes and I also saw some light. It was like a white light and it was very bright for a couple minutes too. And then at like at the end sorta, I felt like I could see the space around me without opening my eyes. I could see myself and I could see my stomach going up and down with my breathing. So I could see myself like just into it, just lying down on the floor and just breathing normally and naturally and drifting away. So that was, that was like, I've, I've never felt that before really. So this was like the first time I felt that and I was like, wow, I was just like, I didn't want to stop, but I, then I lost it for some time. So I want to see if I can keep on doing it later on to meditation. I might be able to stay in that um, state where I can see myself a little bit more. So I, I'm going to work on that. And yeah, so that's my experience today. It was very good. So thank you for hosting another wonderful session. Wonderful, yes. We, we experience all sorts of things when you're in that state. So it's a travel. How does the body travel to see yourself clearly, distinctly? Anything is possible, Vicky. It just only gives us more and more conviction that we are much more than the body. Yes, I'm, I'm very happy now. I've lost fear. I've lost, I've earned confidence. I've gained confidence. I've lost fear. Before I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to talk to like 158 people or whatever. I can't talk in very big groups. I would talk in small groups comfortably, but in big groups, I would, uh, I would fear. But now I can talk in bigger groups and I feel, I feel free. Because I used to feel tense in my arms and my, my body. I used to feel very tense around a lot of people. But now I can feel free while talking to a lot of people. So I've earned confidence, really. And yeah, my friend, one of my friends was already doing meditation somewhere else. But I have told my friends through chats and talking to them about it. And uh, I, so I've told my friends, and I don't know if they're going to join, but that's up to them if they're going to join or not. But uh, I've told them about it already, so maybe they'll join. Hopefully, they're, hopefully they'll join. Sure. Sure. Thank you, Vicky. Wonderful. Ramesh ji? Yeah. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, uh, I would... Uh, like to share a uh, view about uh, what uh, went through the whole of last week or probably 10 days. Uh, basically, uh, my wife has uh, undergone almost eight uh, surgeries in her leg, in her left leg. It started off with the knee replacement surgery and uh, that went into infection and we had to do revision surgery at least about six times. And that was uh, perfectly fine and uh, uh, she uh, fell down and one of the weddings where we went and broke her uh, uh, thigh bone. So, so that again went into a major surgery there. Then uh, that bone never healed uh, 
probably never, never fused itself. So uh, this, from hospital to hospital, from place to place, from uh, uh, doctor to doctor, everywhere we used to, wherever, wherever there was a good uh, consultation or a doctor, we just go there, be it uh, anywhere in the world. That is what I was going through almost for, uh, from 2011. And uh, almost nine years. And uh, this time I was just thinking that, uh, I was exploring various options and I was thinking, well, where, where should I be? Let, let's put an end to this, the, where are possible uh, ways and means uh, I could uh, go through. So we shortlisted a few of the hospitals and uh, the last surgery was done in Bombay in Bridge County. I mean the last three surgeries. And before that it was in Coimbatore. Then this time we had uh, shortlisted uh, a hospital in uh, New York, uh, which is supposed to be the best in the world for orthopedic. And uh, uh, we were, uh, but the COVID uh, was something which was a concern where uh, my, even my brothers um, uh, in the uh, US and my sister in the uh, US said that in this COVID situation, it's not worth coming to the US, particularly New York. So I uh, just postponed the uh, surgery. And uh, I, I re at this stage, I'd really like to thank our, one of our co-meditator, Meena Joshua. She said, uh, why don't you come to New Jersey with our New York is uh, feel at home, you can always stay back at home at, at my place or uh, the hospital is not very far. The city center uh, near, uh, in New York, uh, in New Jersey is very close to her house, it seems. And she even offered uh, to stay with her. With her, with her. Uh, I really, uh, uh, absolutely, we do not know each other, but she just straight away offered to uh, come to her place. That was really very touching. And uh, past one week, I was almost uh, silent about the whole thing. I never used to, uh, even in the meditation, I never expressed myself. I gave, kept myself uh, muted. And during the medita meditation, I was just thinking or probably visualizing what I should do. And the thought came to me that, uh, and most of the doctors also, uh, I used to consult every day. And the thought uh, came to me, and the doctors also advised that get it done in Coimbatore. Coimbatore is one of the best hospitals in India, the best orthopedic hospital uh, uh, doctors you have in Coimbatore. Uh, so better get it done there. And uh, the first surgery that was done was in Coimbatore, and which was which went into complications. So my wife was not in favor of it. She was not wanting to go to the same hospital, but. During the manifestation, or probably during the uh, process of my meditation, the thought was really bugging me that why not in Kwaimuto? And uh, most of the doctors also recommended, coincidentally, that Kwaimuto is the best uh, hospital, why don't you go there? So uh, I just talked the doctor, uh, Dr. Art Shager, who is, uh, was supposed to be the best orthopedic here around this area, is my classmate, we, are, we studied together. I just called him and he said, come down, we'll get it done. And yesterday I got admitted her in the hospital and tomorrow is the surgery. So it's all uh, coincidentally happening and uh, the thought Ramesh. process that was going on in the... Ramesh. Yeah, it's quite long, uh, I know. Uh, uh, Karthikeyan here, good morning to you. Oh, Ramesh. good morning, good morning, good morning, sir. Good morning. No, Raja is the best man in the world, actually. And not only yeah. in that area, Dr. Ashegar, your classmate and my dear friend, is yeah. the best orthopedist, not only in this country, people come from abroad also. Yeah, yeah. In fact, He's uh, such yeah. a humble man, uh, a humble man, but I tell you, the most competent person. And so, you know, you know, she's going to be all right. Perfectly yeah. all right. No, that I'm sorry she strong, had to go through the all strong the inner feeling I have and the strong inner feeling you and my wife has that no, this no, time no, is she, going to be the final. She, she will not go and she need not go to the hospital again. She will be perfectly all right. And yeah. with this meditation and your positive energy, she will be perfectly all right. Raja is the the best man. And you are in Coimbatore itself, you know. Yeah. He's going to be perfectly all right. 
Yeah, I got me in regards to him. He's the, my dear the, friend. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah, people come from all over. When people want to go to America, I say, don't go, go to Raja, and they're happy. And, no, this is the advice also, I got from even, even from New York Hospital, one of the doctors. He said, do you have the uh, best hospital in Coimbra? Why do you want to come here? Ganga Hospital. Ganga Hospital. Yes, thank you. He's the best man, yes. So, this is something which this 40-day meditation is really put me, putting me into real, uh, real comfort where I'm able to take uh, decisions and uh, implement it and it's coincidentally happening by itself. Wonderful. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. It's great feeling, I can tell you. If you have, if you have more, little more patience, we can heal by ourselves. This is where we want to go. The message we want to give is that we want to heal by ourselves. Everything. If Dr. Joe Dispenza can do it, we can do it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's the message we want to give. We, are, we have to do that homework. We want to take the shortcut, but we want to do the homework and then it's absolutely possible. People are infusing many things. Now, this is quite a complicated okay. surgery, so probably a lot of... A long, there isn't uh, anything uh, that's not recovery possible. Recovery period, probably uh, the healing can happen. There is absolutely everything is possible. Yeah, it's a, it's a quite a complicated and uh, a major surgery. Yes, but I'm glad it is. In helped. fact, it went to an extent that she has she might have had to uh, amputate her leg even, which we have been trying to save it and bring it to this level. We we have heard from Chandra Madalaji by himself, right? Yeah. That there is losing toes one by one is arrested. It it's possible. I think it's the will is required. It's possible. Please have a discussion with Chandra Madalaji. The more we yeah. do anything, the more we are only interfering into the natural system of the body. But never, never mind. I think it's great to hear that you're able to take better decisions through this meditation. Thank you for the sharing. Meena Joyshar, please. Hi, this is Meena Joyshar from New Jersey. Ramesh Ji, we are praying for everything to go well and for speedy recovery as well. No, you, you are one of the person who really got me a lot of comfort uh, to make sure that the surgery is going smooth. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, Thank this you. is Thank Vani. Ramesh, sir, this is Vani. What I want to tell you, whatever the surgery and with the, your guidance of inner guidance you are taking, it's absolutely fine. But I'll tell you, even though doctor can say that in three weeks it will be recovery, you, like a, with a group meditation, it's a family meditation, is very important. And definitely it will help you much more faster recovery. And it will be very smooth. And at the same time, no more thinking of again, shame, how it will be. All those things uh, completely dissolve. Because of that, your family may be, because of ma'am requirement, you all will meditate now. It is a group meditation it will have. Family will be getting to spirituality. That is a great uh, intention. It will happen now. You please initiate that in family meditation. If you want, I will also join with you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very yes. much. Thank you. Yes, uh, Thank you Dr. NC, sir. Not more than surgery, though. <laughs> uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, that Mr. Ramesh sir, uh, uh, Dr. Raj sir is one of the best friends of mine. Uh, 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 sir, uh, as uh, uh, dear Kesar said, he was uh, actually he was heading the World Orthopedic uh, uh, Association, and he is known all over the world, and he is the first research. Uh, I mean, he has been awarded the uh, best researcher in the world in this year. Please don't worry, sir. Please don't worry. Your wife will be all right. We pray for her. We will pray for her. Thank you. Thank you, dear friends. Thank you, everybody, for joining. We circle back tomorrow at the same time, 6 a.m. Thank you all and have a great day.